Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I don't have test equipment, but it's coming close. And what is it? It is a clock and it is a clock with IPS display. And why would you do that? Well, the Nixies are uh, running out. It's harder and harder to get those. I have a Nixie clock. I love it. And uh, I also built an oscilloscope tube clock. I like those old uh, stuff. But uh, two weeks ago, I tried something else, and that was the RGB LED clock. And uh, yeah, it is a nice gimmick, but it doesn't come close. But now I found something else. And then why does it come close to test equipment? Well, I love the HP dotted display, and you can load in this uh, clock, you can load your own fonts. And uh, you just do that by uh, creating bitmaps. I think at the top of my mind it's 240 by 135 uh, pixels. Uh, so I did already make some pictures of my uh, oscilloscope uh, tube clock. And uh, I created a font for the HP dotted display. So those you can load into it. So I think if you are a HP fan, you will also love this clock. And uh, if you are tired of looking at that display, you switch it over and it displays in Nixie. You can even load pictures of your children or yourself holding uh, fingers for one, for two, for three, etc. Or I think uh, if you like, you can put dice and you make the dice display the time. So uh, pretty cool, I think. Well, let's open the box. First of all, I notice immediately it is nicely packed. Strong box. I like that. In there, there is a nice black bag. And bubbles. When you open that, there is a beautiful black box. Uh, let me change my... Okay, that probably works. But uh, with this color... And when we open it, well, we get a nice manual. And here they already give you a little preview at, of the Nixies you can do, or the flip letters, or you can just change everything. And uh, let me just zoom in a bit and put some light to it. So it's really a present. Look at this, wow. And this is the base of the clock and it even has a Wi-Fi module uh, I have not seen in the software how and why but um, here you stick your displays I like it you can see the electronics and the screen covers because they are, are actually little computer screens. I have to change it a little bit the other way. So, get these out. These look like the Nixie tubes. But of course, the display, the little computer screens can actually display everything. So, then we take out this. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment for me, because this is not a European plug. It says Nokia, so they just took any USB charger, so I can use any. Here are my little IPS displays. And a nice black cable. Kijk, that is nice. And that is it. Let's have a closer look at what we have gotten. We have a USB charger. Maybe it looks like quality, to be honest, this cable. And we have our nice IPS displays, the little computer screens. And there is even an RGB in the back. And that makes it again a little bit uh, too fancy maybe. But you can switch those off and then you can only run on the displays. So, and then you just push them in, but I need to see exactly which way around because, yeah, would make sense to put them like this because you can read the letters here. 
And uh, but let me check that for sure. There is here a, a web page where you need to go, and they show you exactly how to push this in. But let's have a closer look at the circuit part because they really put some attention to that. Look at this. It's from Alice Maker. Alex Tube IPS. And it's Docker version V6111. Well, I don't know what that means. And well, the battery for the clock, it's a precision clock. And well, probably some driving. And here is the Wi Fi module. And I'm really not sure why that is needed because the software only gives you the possibility to uh, create your own fonts. So then, what we need to do is just get these. Open the bag, remove the protection from the display. Well, as you can see, it's really a display. And that, that's what I like of the idea because I have a bit of light. That's what I like of the idea because you can display anything you like. And uh, I can show you some examples that I already have themselves. Well, do you have here? Uh video running what you need to do and it seems quite simple uh, yeah hold it like this that you can read the letters the display need to, to be facing you and then you just put them in and put the tube on top okay well let's try that so I really wonder what it will look like when you start it up because it are little computer screens. So will you see a boot screen or what? What, what will it? What will it do? And uh, how you can cycle through your Nixie or your HP or so that would be, will be very interesting. Well, I will just sticking in the displays carefully. Feels good. How they come up with this idea? Because indeed the Nixies are harder and harder to get. And uh, I haven't seen one with the HP dot the display at the clock, but yeah, I think if you have this you can you can do everything. You can just create your own fonts. And I really hope that what I did already, because I did create a dotted uh, HP, and I did create uh, the numbers from my oscilloscope clock. And I hope I used the correct pixels and everything, because I haven't tried to convert it yet, because I didn't connect it yet. So. I think I will not put the covers on top, but yeah, you can imagine if you if you use it with uh, the Nixie font, this will look pretty cool. Well, I think uh, I will just uh, power it on. Well, the adapter I cannot use, but I always have my power here. And uh, well, it should at least boot, I think. And uh, I will just plug this in here. And let me zoom in a little bit more on the display. Okay, let's see what will happen if I plug the plug. It is now on. Yes, cool. It is a type of computer. Yeah, look at this. They already loaded the Nixies for us. <laughs> and it kind of looks 3D almost. Wow. See the glow. Wow, look at that. And probably when you close it, it, it even looks more like a Nixie. Yeah, they only have now the LEDs on in the back. We need to try to switch those off. Wow. This is super cool. Okay, I'm just pushing some buttons, but you need to see this. It is a real computer. If I 
if I click now on the arrows, oh, I, get, I think this is the date. And, but when I put the mode button, look at this. It says now here, so if I push again the mode button, this is so cool. Can I now do up and down? Yeah. Okay. Month 8, that's about right. This is 10. Mode. I hope it's in 24. Yes. That's about right. <laughs> okay, what else we can do? And how oh, I okay. Set 24 hours, yes, I like that. Wow, and it's so well readable. This style. Right though. Oh, I need to select one of these right here. Okay. Style. This is not completely clear now to me. I can only pick here three. Okay. So there are two fixed fonts. This one and this one. And this is the do it yourself. This one is our custom. So yeah, I pick of course the retro. Okay. Not. Okay, the, the, it makes sense. Now we have the RGB. We can also switch those off. Uh, but you can also make it glow if you if you have a nice white background. Um, you can do how bright needs to be, and it can do single mode, rainbow mode, chasing mode. So it can do all kinds of effects. Uh, I'm actually you can even do custom colors. Okay, I'm not too much interested in it to be honest. Of Brightness is good. Well, RGB is off, so it doesn't make sense. Okay. Cool. Let's connect it to the computer and load some fonts. I have now switched off the lights, as you can see. And now you can really see that Nixie glow. It is... Uh, I think they really did a good job uh, trying to uh, mimic that. And now you probably, it's nicer to see also the RGB tricks that they do. It's not necessarily for me, but... All same. Or you do all colors. Oh, wait. I did not do that correct. RGB. Then we can... I can work single mode, rainbow mode. Let's try rainbow. Okay. It's nice if you if you also have an ambient TV or ambient light. Or you just like all this fancy stuff. Then we have chasing. Not necessarily know what it is. Okay. Then we also have a breathing mode. And you can also do that. Faster or slower. Okay. Uh, breathing. <laughs> now chasing is a kind of flow. Okay. So uh, I uh, downloaded the software just from the link that they gave me and uh, I can put the software also in the bottom and I will add my own uh, fonts that I did. But if we go here, I think there is a gallery here, yes, and here are some of the fonts that they already created for us. So this is uh, Nixie-like, 
This is another Nixie one. I also like this a lot, to be honest. And uh, yeah, this is a yellow one. And this is the one I actually changed to make it, uh, yeah, HP uh, like. Even is a flip clock. That is also pretty cool to see. Yeah, some weird stuff. So yeah, and you can create these uh, yourself. Yeah, that's all very nice, but well, this is the custom image. And so what I did, here is an image folder. And the image folder just has uh, from zero to one, it has the numbers. And you can just override these. So I made some extra subfolders. Um, here I have the HP that I created. But this looks pretty pretty cool and I did the same for my oscilloscope clock and what I need to do with these files I just need to override them in the other image folder and then you need to compile it at least that is what I have read so I had uh, these original I just took pictures from my oscilloscope clock and to make sure I have all the numbers, then I just uh, yeah cut that out of the picture, and then you need to create the right uh, the right size, and that's what I did. So these I can load into it also. So uh, yeah, let's play with that. Okay, what I will try to do now is keep one of my cameras pointed to the clock and the other one on the computer. And I saw here when I saw here the CH340, very famous serial driver. So that one is already installed because most of my devices use it. Um, I go again to my device manager just to see what port it is going to be. So I open the port. And I will just stick in the port. Pook -a -pook. And it is COM3. So then we know that it is COM3. Okay, we see also that the clock started. And I will start the program that came with it. Where is it? Yeah, the Alex Tube IPS. Yes. And here we see we can also choose the other Nixie. That is quite cool. So we can try to load this one. So I think we just say upload image then. Uh, the clock is restarting. There it goes. Okay, so now we need to find that probably in the... We need to find that in the custom, I think. So if we go again to the uh, style. Yes. Then we... Here it is, we have the new Nixies. It is cool. Okay, look at this. We loaded the new Nixie. I like this one better, this custom one, than the one that was provided with it. Because you can actually see the little mesh, the, the square. If I, maybe if I zoom in a bit more. Look at this. It even looks like it has metal wires. This one is super cool. Okay, that worked. So now we're going to try to make the custom. I will close this. I have here my HP font that I made. I will also leave this uh, for you guys. Let's copy this to the custom. Paste it right here. Yes, we're gonna replace everything.
Okay. We will start the program again. And somewhere needs to be the custom. I don't see where, but they say you need to do compile image. And if you do that, okay, it says now custom image. And I think I need to do then upload because I don't think it will appear here. No. So I do now upload. And let's see if it did the custom. Yes, it is restarting. Yes, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's try again, but now with my scope clock. I will get all these files and I will just overwrite. Again, the image here. Okay, then we need to start again the PaylockTube program. We say again, compile image. That's our custom image. And then we upload. And then we should have now the scope tube clock numbers. So let's see. Yeah, the clock starts again and cool well this is my oscilloscope clock but now in uh, images on this clock and it is actually cool because it does look and it's not completely straight because it is not because the my oscilloscope clock is a bit uh, old and the digits are not completely perfect like the two there and it shows it here also. You don't really see the good color because uh, because it's a little bit the brown background and then of course the green from the oscilloscope tube. But uh, my camera doesn't pick it up, but it looks really realistic. Well, that was very nice. And I, uh, I am actually a little bit amazed at what I did with my, just with paint. Microsoft Paint from standard comes with Windows. I just put together a little bit from my screenshots, but I did with my phone from my um, from my uh, oscilloscope tube uh, clock, and I just put it together, and it actually worked immediately. But I'm back to the Nixie, and that is the custom Nixie because this one looks really, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I think you might also like the HP fonts. So the fonts uh, that I created myself, I will also put in the links. I will just put the software also. Again, you have everything available uh, underneath my videos. Yes, and as I said, you can also put your children putting the numbers like this in the two and uh, or the dice. You can load every picture. Uh, I didn't do that because I just wanted to play with uh, kind of uh, vintage clocks. And I think this is the first time I saw that he actually came very close to the Nixie. And here we have two types of Nixies that are already standard in there. And now I created uh, the oscilloscope tube clock and the HP dotted display, which I also like a lot. So I will be changing between the Nixie and the HP. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.